make an Instagram reel with photos. There is a new trend blowing up right now where people are using Instagram reels to display their photos. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make an Instagram reel with photos, voiceover, text-to-speech, and background music. And to do this, we're going to be using Bead. By the end of this video, you'll have created something that looks like this. Let me show you Stockholm's coolest underground stations. Solna Centrum, Odenplan, Stadion, T Centralen. And to get started, all you have to do is click the first link in the description. All right, now we're in Bead, we're going to select upload a file and choose your first photo. Once selected, give it a moment to download. We're now going to head over to the left hand column here and select settings. Now under size, click that arrow down and just keep scrolling here until you see Instagram's nine to 16 aspect ratio for an Instagram story. Just because this is the same aspect ratio for a reel, that's the one we wanna pick. Select it and now you'll see that your video frame size has changed. All we have to do now is drag the corners and sides out to fill that frame. That looks good now, so we're just going to repeat the same steps again to add more photos. First, drag your playhead over to the end of the first photo in the timeline and then click add media above your timeline. Click upload a file, choose your second photo and you'll see it upload. Again, just drag those corners and sides out to fill the frame and you're just going to keep repeating this process until you've added all your photos. Next step we're going to do is we can choose to add a voiceover, text-to-speech or background music or if you want to make the same as me, I'm going to do a mix of all three. So firstly, let me show you how to add a voiceover. We're gonna make sure now our playhead is at the start of our video and then above the timeline, click voiceover. Before we press that red record button, I would recommend having your script or your lines in front of you or at least prepared because once we hit it, you've got three seconds before it will start recording. And once you're finished speaking, just hit stop recording. I'll demo this now. Three, two, and one. Let me show you Stockholm's coolest underground stations. Perfect. We can play it back now to hear it, or if you want to do another take, just hit retake. I'm happy with mine, but I want to do a very quick edit on it. So I'm going to select the voiceover bar in the timeline, and then I'm just going to hit clean audio. This will just remove any background noise. Perfect. Next, I want to use the text to speech feature to announce the station names because, well, my Swedish isn't so good. So I'm just gonna put my playhead at the start of the next photo. We're then gonna head over to the left-hand column and select audio. Now, if voiceover is still showing, just hit the arrow to go back and now select text to speech. I'm going to select Swedish as the names of the stations are in Swedish. And now I can choose my speaker. To hear what they sound like, just hit the play button. Bara över den lata hunden. Perfect, I'll select Sophie. And all I'm gonna do now is paste my text in here. Then hit preview to hear it. Solna Centrum. Perfect, and now just click add to project. You'll see it appear in your timeline, but I now need to have my picture match the audio. As you can see, it's getting cut off too early. I'm going to go to my timeline and push that next picture over, and now I can extend the right photo over. To add more text to speech, I'm going to do the exact same thing to all remaining pictures. Place my playhead at the start of the next photo, click audio, click text to speech, as you can see, Swedish and Sophie are already selected, so all I have to do is paste my text. Then just click Add to Project, and just keep repeating this process for all remaining photos. Perfect, that's all done, but you'll notice that the text doesn't actually appear on the screen. So if you would like to add text, just head over to the left-hand column and select Text. Now put your playhead at the start of the first picture that you want to add text to. And then just select Headline Title, paste the text, and now you can change the font, we can increase the size, we can choose a color. If you click on effect here, you can choose any of these options. And now just place it anywhere you want on screen and you can pull on the sides here to change the size. We can now go back and we can also choose to animate our text. So click on animation and select one of these many, many options. And to add more text, we're just gonna repeat the same steps again. Put your playhead at the start of the next picture, click text, click headline title, paste your text, Choose the font, the size, the color, your effects, and lastly, your animation. And then the last final touch we're going to add is background music. So once again, we're gonna head over to the left-hand column, select audio, and next to stock audio, hit search. In here, we have an entire stock audio library filled with songs and sound effects, and everything is filtered by genre. So just take your time here, have a listen. All you have to do is press that play button. Once you've found your right track, select it. 
and then you'll see it appear in your timeline. Now all you have to do is just drag that below so it's at the very, very bottom of your timeline. Now we need to shorten it so that it ends in time with our video. Put your playhead at the end of the video, click split, right click on the part you wanna remove and select delete. Now we need to lower our music down so we can actually hear the voiceover and the text to speech. Select the track and now we're gonna drag that audio bar all the way over to the left to lower it down. I think anywhere between 20 and 30% should be good. Perfect, we now have our Instagram reel with our photos ready to go. So all we gotta do is render and export it. Just click export in the top right hand corner, select to render settings and hit export once more. Give it a moment here to render. Once it's finished, make sure you watch it all the way through just once, just to make sure you're happy. And then once you're happy with it, all that's left to do is hit download and download MP4. And that's it. That's how to make an epic Instagram reel with photos. I really hope you found this video helpful, guys. If you did, go on and give us a like, subscribe for more editing and social media content, and leave me any comments or questions down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!